Hey everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and this is going to be the first video in a series for people who are looking at getting into airbrushing. The first thing I think you should learn in order to make yourself comfortable with the airbrush is how to take it apart and put it back together again. And that's what I'm going to be showing in this video. This particular brand of airbrush is a Badger Patriot 105, but all airbrushes have similar anatomies, so this will still be a useful video for you to watch even if your airbrush is different. So the first piece I'm removing is called the handle that just unscrews and slides off. Next I'm loosening the needle chucking nut. This holds the needle in place, so I'm loosening that and then carefully pulling out the needle. Now I'm holding what's called the needle chucking guide and loosening that. This is actually three other pieces, the needle chucking guide and on the other end is the spring guide and inside of that is the spring. I normally leave these three pieces together unless I'm doing a deep cleaning, but if they do come apart they are easy to put back together. This piece was putting tension on the trigger, but now that that's off I can remove the trigger and the trigger guard. The trigger guard is the hardest thing to get in and out since it just flops around if the needle and spring aren't holding it in place. My airbrush needs an air nozzle adapter for my air pump, but most airbrushes aren't going to have that. Next I'm removing the head cap and nozzle cap. These two pieces come apart and inside is the nozzle, which is the sharp tip you see sticking out. The last bit I'm taking off is the valve casing. Mine goes on super tight, so I very gently grip it with some needle nose pliers and loosen it enough that I can get it off with my fingers. Now if this is your first time taking apart your airbrush, hopefully you aren't having an anxiety attack right now. The pieces are stainless steel and they're pretty durable, only the needle is delicate so just be careful with that. So next putting it back together, I'll start with the valve and the valve casing and everything gets screwed on until it's snug, it doesn't have to be super tight. Next I'll put on the nozzle casing and the nozzle. Next is the needle chucking guide. Now you'll notice that the chucking guide can only move in and out if it's aligned correctly. You'll see that the piston is half moon shaped, so just give it a twist so that it can move in and out correctly and screw it back in. You can also adjust the needle chucking guide after it's screwed in as long as you haven't tightened it too much. Speaking of which, don't screw this in all the way yet, only about halfway. You need to leave some space to put in the trigger and the trigger guard. Next I'm adding the trigger guard and this is quite possibly the most annoying part of putting an airbrush back together. It's a pain realigning it, but it does get easier every time. Once your trigger guard is in, you'll want to put in the trigger. Move the trigger guard back and forth until you can sit the trigger onto the air valve below the trigger. If you can push down on the trigger and feel it springing back up, it's in the right spot. It can also be a bit tricky getting the trigger guard to sit right up against the trigger. So you might have to pull the trigger back and forth a bit and pull on the needle guide until the trigger guard settles in right behind the trigger. Next I like to hold the trigger and the guard in place while I slide in the needle. The needle is going to hold everything down. Make sure the needle chucking nut is on, but nice and loose. Slide in the needle just until it's snug against the nozzle. I should have tightened up the needle chucking guide as far as it will go, I'm doing that now, but I'm leaving the nut on the end loose so the needle isn't getting pushed forward while I do this. I'm just double checking that the needle is still snug against the nozzle and then I'm tightening up the chucking nut to hold the needle in place. Next I'm screwing on the nozzle cap and then finally the handle. And that's it, practice a few times, get comfortable with the process and it's going to go a long way towards getting you comfortable with airbrushing. My biggest hang up with starting to use my airbrush was my fear that it would get clogged and that I wouldn't know how to take it apart and fix it. Now one last note because this is something I screwed up a lot initially, make sure this is how your trigger guard is sitting against the trigger. If it isn't, take out the needle and try it again. It just takes practice to get it into the right spot. Well that's it for this video, I hope you found it useful and feel free to add tips that you think others might find useful in the comments.